great accuracy and speed on such heavy ground can only be achieved with high pulling power and the best possible grip. On large acreage farms, good communications are vital to smooth running and speed of operation. So too is maximum utilization of equipment. At Carrington near Boston, the estate manager of J.W. Warden's Sons knows only too well that to get the job done properly on 5,000 acres, the right equipment must be in the right place at the right time. I better get in better traction with more tread on the road, but this is ridiculous. Prize reminder of yesterday is still doing a useful job today, helping to build and maintain the estate roads. On a farm vehicle of the more conventional kind, Goodyear radials are providing the necessary grip for pulling a heavy set of drag hose. Lungs really biting into the soil and the supple side walls absorbing all the shocks, these tyres give a much smoother, more even ride, which is appreciated by the driver and the engine. successes on Goodyear radials, so it's not surprising that they've turned to super traction radials for their farm vehicles. A stone separator working on undulating ground is no lightweight. In fact, this is power farming which calls for heavy duty tractors and higher boss power machines run better on radials. That's an opinion shared by many farmers with experience of other radials. Now the farmer can buy British and get the best on earth. change of implement, this time to a potato planter, but even with a full load, the radials give high grip and low soil compaction. Today, 
almost half the tractors in Britain are over 50 horsepower. And with acreage is increasing, and implements getting bigger, the trend towards a 70 horsepower plus tractor is already growing. So tyre technology must develop at the same rate. There will always be a place for cross flies, especially on smaller tractors. But for better grip, longer life, farmers are changing to super traction radials around Britain, around the clock. They're investing in power with Goodyear.